It's 6 o'clock on a Thursday afternoon, and I've just woken up. It's time for another video. But, oh, hold up. Is that... Is that 420 subscribers? Honestly, this is even... I could bring him out of tears. But, one other thing. Yo, yo, yo. You seen that? Hold on. Is that what I think it is? I think it is what you think it is. 96% of your viewers aren't subscribed. But how do we get more people to subscribe? I guess all we can do is tell them. Subscribe. And now, welcome to another segment of Pro YouTuber Reacts. I got told to be more enthusiastic in my last video. Where I react to cinematic masterpieces of our generation, whether it's a timeless classic we all know and love, or unearthing new talent in the endless depths of the internet. Today we're going to be watching a piece called London City in Motion by this guy J.R. Ali. If you've never heard of this guy or you've never watched this video, firstly, where you been? And secondly, you are about to be taken on a journey. This guy's a filmmaker from Toronto. His stuff's insane. Just take a look. I think I watched this when it first came out, so it's very, very vague in my memory, and it'll be very good to revisit it and commentate on it. So, let's jump straight into it. London City in Motion. Alright, okay, let, let, we're going to analyse this piece by piece. Okay, it starts off immediately with a shaky camera movement, jumping right into the action, making them more alert and aware of what's about to come. It's on the underground, so we can expect a lot more on the underground. Establishing scene, it's establishing, it's an action shot. Okay, I'm, uh, <laughs> it's literally the first, the first shot, and I'm analysing it too much. All right, let's just. Okay, was that a little speed romp I saw there? Ooh, it was, it was. So they're walking very slowly down this corridor. He slowed it down, probably to match the frame rate because he shot in a higher one, and then speeds up into the next. I like the juxtaposition there with lo well, not loads of people. But like you know, bustling scene to just focus on him by himself. Nice little width there to connect the to connect as it uh, goes to black. Lovely close-up profile shot. Again, establishing what's about to happen. It's peaceful. There's no music yet, so it's all building up. Really, really good stuff. I know I'm going way too deep already, but I sound effect. Glitch effect title. I love it. I love it. Tracking. I'm loving this tracking that's going on here. The colour grading is beautiful. I cannot colour grade for the life of me. Any edit project that I've done, look at London, look at Blin. You won't see a single bit of colour grading because I can't. I've never tried. You know, I, I don't know how. This guy does it so effortlessly, it seems. Anyways, I'm gushing too much. It's a great shot. We use the glitch effect again there. Okay, right. Okay, I don't wanna. I don't wanna throw any shade. I don't wanna hate on him. But uh, it looks like he's been using a preset. It looks like he's used a transition pack just by the motion of that. If he has animated it completely himself, then big respect. But it does look heavily like a like a transition pack. He's done a chromatic aberration sort of pan. And then a very quick little pan up. It might have been an in-camera transition where he's moved the camera up and then moved it back up to meet the shot, to meet the second shot. Alright, okay. You see this sequence right here. Right, you see, you see... From here. So those three transitions. One, two, three. When I first watched this video, I spent so long trying to figure out how he did that, what those transitions were, how he made it look so smooth. And then I realised it's literally just speed ramps. It's so simple, it's just speed ramps. And if you do it right, this shows what you can do. Speed ramps, speed ramps. So it goes from slow, so the two clips on either side of the cut are slow, and they're joined by a very quick ramp. So it goes slow, slow, fast, slow. It's... How he's done that so well, I don't know, but... Look how smooth that is. Anyways... Nice little glitch into a reverse. Ooh, is that a mask I see? Um, let me just go into 0.25. It is a mask. He's probably, I think it has a lamppost or something. Very nice mask. It, from someone moving into, uh, into something relatively still, like Tower of London. Again, speed ramp, but this time moving side to side. Another speed ramp, but zoomed in. Um, that was very good because these two shots are so are so different. I don't know how he's made that look so smooth. 
Look at that. Another glitch into a reverse. I think he's got a slight little bounce on the zoom there as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you made that sort of bounce-like look by um, easing the keyframe in to the, to the zoom out. Yeah, so you can see when you're zooming out, it starts off zooming really, really slow and then speeds up. And that's sort of um, speed ramps it in the next clip. He's, he's mashed it to the music really, really well. Like, like when it zooms out, when it zooms out slowly and then quickly, as soon as it zooms out quickly, it hits that beat. Listen. Right there. Right there. <coughs> it's got enough time. Right, and now he's looking into uh, the tunnel, right? Uh, with the light above. It's, it's going to be interesting to see what, uh, how he moves the camera after this. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. He hasn't mashed into a similar, similar tunnel-y underground shot. Another speed ramp up on the tower bridge. Nice. Another reverse glitch. You can see that he's repeating a lot of the same effects, but he's doing it well, so, you know, it's fine. Ooh, that, ah, that, that looked like a preset to me. GR Ali, have you been using presets? Have you been using transition packs? I, I like that. I like the tracking that he's done with the text there. I like the, um, the da-da in the music. He's matched up to the, uh, to the camera shutter. Alright, and now, did he use a little flash effect? He did, yeah, he flashed, that's very, I like that, it's very creative. Because for one, it's nice transition to the next shot, and for two, it shows that he was taking a picture of this scene right here. It's like he's travelling out of his camera lens to show us what's, what he's seeing through the camera. Oh, that's very good. Fade to black, very slow, peaceful, serene settings again. So it's gone from the action back to another to more establishing shots you can see you're getting the entire skyline with the squad that's an epic shot by the way i wish that i could go to a bustling city go up to a rooftop and take a picture like that how cool is that oh that's a dream right there Ooh. oh all right back into the action back in the action let's see what's going on here so immediately zoom in um, gone from very fast to slowing down, so he's eased into that zoom. He's got RGB split transition. Uh, sorry, no RGB split. I made a tutorial on that on my channel, but it's got like no views. So. Zoomed in and added a little bit of um, lens curvature to uh, transition really smoothly into this clip. Look at that guy on the bike. Very cool. Ooh, I wonder what was the purpose for this uh, for this whip up cam um, transition right here. So you can see, you can see how the screen sort of curves, and that's the lens curvature effect that he's added. See that? And then it whips up. Don't know why he's whipped up. Uh, I'm not complaining. It's an alright transition. Just don't see how it's really relevant. But anyways, now I think he's going to zoom into the. Well, obviously he's going to zoom into the tunnel. But what does he do after that? Ooh, that was some beautiful masking. So. It was masked out before it had even moved to the clip. It didn't like mask out eventually. It was already masked out. And that's really impressive. So you must have nested that layer and then done the transition after. Look at that. So the tunnel has zoomed out, but the mask and layer behind has stayed. Beautiful. Right, and now. Okay, it's got a little rotation shot from one tunnel into another. Uh, he's got another very heavy, very impactful zoom in. All these, you know, explosive, you know, fast zoom ins are really more to keep the tempo of the music than anything else. So, you know, he could have done without it if he was using a different music track. I think. See if you can hear in the background, the beat hits right on that zoom. So, okay, more establishing shots of the traffic. I like it. I like it. So, that's zoomed in. I think if I was doing that, I would have preferred to zoom out from the close-up traffic, zooming out to the entire roundabout, but uh, that's just my choice. Ooh, so we went from the traffic, the roundabout here. Also, oh, that was a little little um, speed ramp zoom in. Uh, okay, nice, nice pan, nice whoosh there. So, uh, continuing the motion by using the um, the. 
Queen's guard, is it? I don't know. Even if he was warping right, you could just reverse the shot, carry on the motion. So it's a very versatile clip to use. So I like that. Continuing the motion left. Ooh, I like this. Going from one person to a crowd, making it more bustling, even more energy, even more energetic. Ooh, strong zoom in into a rotation. I reckon he's going to continue the rotation by... by panning. Right, I can't figure out the direction, but let's see what he did. Right, okay, yeah. Okay, I was trying to I was trying to describe that direction of motion. Yeah. So when he zoomed into the rotation, he speeds up the rotation to speed ramp into the next rotation, going the same direction. Beautiful stuff. I wonder if he's gonna do another rotation speed ramp. Ooh, I like that. The sunset, he if he's colour graded that, amazing work. Another RGB another RGB split, yeah. Uh, zooming out, I like that. So it was really close up. It's now zoomed out to an entire establishment shot. The, this this shot right here. Oh, he's hyperlapsed it. Beautiful. Look at that. He's hyperlapsed it. Love it. Um, is that hyperlapse or is he just done a time lapse and zoomed out? Anyways, it doesn't matter. It has the same effect. Very good. Glitched. Uh, zoom out. Transition. Um, again, focusing on the big bends. So that's three shots I've had of the big Ben. So close range, mid range, long range. Close, mid, long. Very nice. Very good stuff. And then a very powerful zoom out to match the music. Did it match the music? Yes, it did. Ooh, the sound effect of the um, telephone ringing. Uh, I think he's he's probably used a lot of layers of sound effects because I can't tell what's from the original music and what he's added in. And uh, when you've made it that ambient, you know you've done a good job, so. Ooh, little zoom out there. Um, oh, okay. So now he's going to do loads of whips to the right to continue that motion. Nice. Okay, now that's zoomed up. So that's pretty cool. So this was an underground shot of some stairs, and it's like, it's gone from beneath the ground to above the ground to show, you know, what's below and above. So that's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Okay, is that a masked, is that a masked transition there? It is indeed, it is indeed. Another time lapse slash possibly hyperlapse. Zooming in to the Big Ben again. Ooh, Big Ben's a big part of this. Wow, rotation zoom into another shot of the Big Ben, but this time at night. So I like how he's using different times of day to give you different moods, different effects on the video. Ooh, nice, um, nice zoom in from the clock face into the lens. That's, that's very cool, I like that. I must have said cool about 10 times in this video, I'm sorry. Again, powerful um, lens distortion. Um, yeah, lens curvature, lens distortion, transition into the scene on the tower bridge. This looks really similar to another scene, actually. To Yeah, to this scene. So that must be part of the same video clip, then he's just revisited it again. Okay, another speed ramp zoom into this scene now in the tunnel. Ooh, okay, so this is the establishing title shot that we saw in the beginning. I really like how he's compositioned this frame right here. How he's got this this one line running across, I mean running down the, right in the middle of the screen. You can see the shard in the background almost, so I, th I really like this shot that he's got right here. Ooh, okay, okay. So he spiralled into this scene with the skyscrapers. I don't know why he spiralled, but you know, not complaining. Uh, if it was me, I would have tried maybe to match. Alright, I'm going to try and get it before it Luma keys out. To match this section, this middle running section, with the with this stream running down. So maybe I would have masked it out, or maybe I would have like tried to match it as good as I can, and then zoom out spiral. See what he's doing is pretty vague, but I think I would have like pinpointed it more exactly to line up. But that's just me. And then he's Luma keyed out back into the title shot that we saw at the beginning. Ooh, I completely forgot about this bit. Yesterday I told myself I was gonna learn how to do this. Well not just this, but like completely animating neon signs. But um okay, right, let's have a look at this then. Let's have a look at this. So the pace has completely slowed down to match the music, but because the music's gotten more intense, he's decided to introduce a new sort of form of editing to make it easy on the eyes and make it more interesting and liven it up. So let's see what's going on. Very slow shot of running. Okay, so he hasn't speed ramped this time, he's kept the slow pace, that's interesting. Yeah, so he's done some Nice. So maybe that's lasted two or three frames, and he's drawn on. I'm surprised that he's drawn on with um, like a thin, thin layer like this. 
instead of like Neon, because I think Neon would have had more of a vibe compared to like, like if you look at the entire video so far, it's all been like city lights bustling, uh, traffic, Neon. So that I think I would have used like Neon Soft Glow for this, not just single paint types. But again, that's just me. Again, just slowed, slowed clips, no transitions to keep the pace. And then whenever it hits on that beat on the music, he's added that. Very, very cool. Final shot is very cool. I love it. I Me, mean, I love this video. Right, I know what I've criticised with some places. I know I've said, oh, I would have done this. He's the legend here, not me, right? Obviously, he's got very good reason behind what he's done. I just think I would have approached it a bit differently in certain areas. And there we go. That's the end. <sighs> what a video. What a video. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. And the world agrees. VR Rally. I know you're not watching this, but superb work. I know it was two years ago. Um, oh, almost three years ago now. What's your recent stuff? 320 subs, look at that, he's on the grind. You know what, just for fun, let us show you that Neon project that I was talking about. Right, yesterday I just had a thought, hey, you know those those videos where they have like Neon animations, Neon lights? I wanna learn how to do that, so then I learn how to do it. Right, I know this is completely unrelated to the video, completely, but um, I, I'm just gonna show you this. I'm, I'm very, very proud of it. It took us a while, I don't know how many hours it took, maybe three, two, three maybe. But right, I just took a random dance video off the internet. I kind of just appreciate the first time I learned how to do an effect and this is what I make out of it. This is this is my creation, guys. Hope you enjoy. I don't know. That's what I spent my time doing yesterday instead of uh, editing the origami video. Uh, I'm not going to talk you through the whole thing, but I mean, just look at this. He's, he's tied at the arms, but the brake, water hits his head, splashes out becomes an S shape but there's orange going up his arms, there's a purple spiral around his legs, his eyes are crossed out, his elbows explode, they hit the other dancers, a mirror forms but look he's punching the mirror, he smashes it, pieces go everywhere and it, oh I'm a genius, I'm actually a genius. Right I'm just gushing over my own stuff now, this isn't, this is, this isn't relevant in the slightest but uh, anyways that'll, uh, that'll end the video for today. Really hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know what you think. Um, if there's any stuff that you wanted to react to, any more cinematic masterpiece, ed anything that you want to react to, leave it down there. Just chuck it down there in the comments. I'll have a look. I read literally every comment because I get like two in a video. So, yeah. See you later.